Hi, my name is Mike Swartz and I work for the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission Lake Section and we're here today talking about uh, fish habitat structures. We've actually, this is our third week actually working out here in large scale structures. Um, you can see some of the structures around here. A lot of rock rubble, we have a lot of coarse woody debris structures. We have post cluster structures are kind of mimicking standing timber. We have a lot of structures called spider humps and you can kind of see them, they kind of look like a spider with all the legs out. It's a great place for those bigger fish to hide and it's a great place for those smaller fish to actually hide in those cracks from those bigger fish. It's great for your uh, macroinvertebrates and your crayfish. One really cool thing about our program is our structures often act like a mini food web. You'll start from the ground up, you'll have algae and then af after that algae you'll have little macroinvertebrates eating that algae and then once you have all those macroinvertebrates you're going to have those smaller fish and once you have all those smaller fish you're of course going to have those bigger fish coming in and eat. So all these structures are going to be placed on our Fish and Boat Commission website and you can click on a map and you can actually come out here save yourself some time looking for hot spots to fish because we'll have all these spots marked on the map. We have a great partnership. We had DC and R, they um, donated a bunch of logs for the project, free logs. They actually even hauled them for us, so that's a great thing for the fishermen. We also have the Reservoir Fisheries Partnership. The, in cooperation with the Tioga County Bass Anglers, they put a, a grant together and they got a grant from Shell for $30,000. This park and um, lake is very lucky to receive that kind of funding for this kind of project. It went a long way. And after this large scale project is done, we're not done here. We still have probably five to 10 years worth of work project is going to be changed up a little bit though. Right now we're working with large scale machinery. Um, in the summertime we're actually going to work on the lake's full pole and we're going to have two or three boats running back and forth building structures with the club. Hi, I'm Don Kelly, uh, owner of Tackle Shack and the publicity director for Tioga County Bass Anglers. Uh, I'm here today on the Nesmic project. Behind us is one of the structures we'll be building this fall. This is a crib senior. Uh, this structure acts as a cover for your bait fish and also your young of the year. Uh, this project's been a great cooperative effort between Tioga County Bass Anglers, the Fish and Boat Commission, and uh, the Friends of Reservoirs Partnership. Uh, the Friends of Reservoirs Partnership helped us write a grant and we applied to Shell and received a grant for almost $30,000 to have all this fish habitat. Um, without them this wouldn't have been possible. A lot of the local communities have been helping us the whole way. Uh, we've had a lot of volunteers out here, even in the middle of winter, putting these structures together. Uh, kids from the Mansfield University were out here helping build these structures as well. In the next five to ten years, we have a lot of other projects coming up. If you'd like to help, like to volunteer and help us build these structures, you can get a hold of me at Tackle Shack or check out Tioga County Bass Anglers at TiogaCountyBassAnglers.com. A lot of the times we get asked, why are you building fish habitat? And uh, back when we built this reservoir 20, 30, 40 years ago, little to no concern was about fish habitat. So when a manager was building this dam, he didn't want anything to get stuck in his dam breast. So he, they cleared all that good habitat. They took all those root wads, all those trees away. Um, so you're, you're left with a big um, mud bowl, pretty much. So those fish, just like you and me, need a place to sleep, need a place to eat. Another question we get asked in is, well, how long do these structures last? If you're putting them in deep water, sometimes shallow water. Um, a lot of these structures are made out of rough cut hemlock, they're not treated. Why are you doing that and how long is that actually going to last? We started this program back in the 1970s and those original structures are still there. So these structures are actually a little bit bigger than those structures, so they should last anywhere from 40 to 60 years at least. And um, that will definitely last as long as the dam breast. So, a little bit of time right now is going to make a big uh, payoff to the anglers in the future. The lake's starting to fill here, as you can see. It's got about another four or five feet to come up yet. Uh, if we would have had a normal season last uh, summer, it'd be full by now, but it's just been a really dry year. Uh, it was stocked this past year with uh, fingerlings, so in the next couple years, this fish population should really start booming. We'll be coming back here in July to see how the lake's coming along and finish up the second phase of this habitat project. And we'll give you an update then when it's a little bit warmer.